Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Al Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And this is my fourth episode into the NBA 2K14 tutorials. Today we're going to be going over the dribble moves. I'm going to give you the whole nine, even go-to moves that you're definitely going to need to get past defenders, may it be computer or user. Me, myself, I'm more of a dribbling guy. I like getting to the rack. That's my thing. So let's hop into it, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get into the dribble moves. This is going to be a fairly long video, but it's going to be worth it. Now, to do a crossover, all you have to do is tap the right stick towards your off offhand. It's very simple, all right? It's not hard at all. It's not rocket science. All you got to do is just tap the ball to your offhand, all right? Now, let me jump into the next move. The next move is the crossover between the leagues, my bread and butter. All you have to do is just tap the right stick between your offhand and the player's back. So just in a, like a downward motion right there. See how see up in the top left hand corner, the HUD. When I press that, oh I'm sorry, <laughs> did it too hard. But that's where you kind of want to be. You want to be in this this little gray area right here when you're dribbling. All right. So look, if I tap it down, see how I go all different types of ways. You always want to be perfect with it. Let me show you guys one more time. Cross between the legs, it's, it's, it's really easy. It's, it's nothing hard. It's not rocket science, like I said. But uh, let's hop into the next move, the in and out. The in and out is fairly easy this year. Um, you can do a, a different type of in and out like this, like double tapping, but it takes too long. You can just tap the right stick forward, and he'll do his own in and out motion. Very easy, very easy. Stutter step, another bread and butter. You want to hold the right trigger right see that see what I'm clicking right here see how it's lighting up and then you want it forward facing in, the, in a nice direction that'll give you a stutter step now with that stutter step you have a lot of options you could drive to the rack you can step back may you be like I would say in in the top of the key looks pretty good now hesitation you want to tap the right stick toward the ball hand all right so let me get a little bit closer all right you ready real easy simple it's even more simple than anything I've ever done. <laughs> the hesitation escape, that's basically a hardcore move of the hesitation, and it creates a lot of space. So all you got to do is press the right stick, and then he'll jump out, out of the way. It's good because with the hesitation escape, let me do it one more time. With the hesitation escape, if you're right here, and you know that you have a nice mid-range jump shot, you can just press that button and clear up probably about two to three feet, and you can shoot the jumper right over top of him, and he can't do nothing about it. Now, the behind and back, real easy. Just tap the right stick away from the basket. You'll do it every time. Um, next up, yeah, I'm just trying to get through. Step back. Ooh, step back. Now, behind the back is right stick. A step back, you have to hold RT with the right stick, all right? Real easy. Now, the step back is good for when you're driving to the lane. Let me show you guys real quick. If you're driving to the lane and you want to give him a nice little step back, you can do that. All right, let me show you guys real fast. Let me see. All right, you drive to the lane. Game ah. Let me let me retry that one time. Come on, give me the ball. Drive to the lane. Game, game, give it to him, damn it. <laughs> All right, I guess I guess you could say that that step back isn't too good. Let me try it one more time. I don't think it works very well in the lane. Okay, there you go. I guess you have to reset the controller or he won't do the step back off of running. So uh, let's look at the spin. Spin, easy. It's like, it's like Coke. <laughs> All you got to do is just rotate the stick. You don't even have to rotate it in a full circle. And I'll show you why. Let's look at it. Spin. All right, remember, look at the left hood. See this? See me moving the controller? This is all me. So look. See that? See how I spun it halfway? I didn't even spin it full. So to do a half spin, you would think, well, if you could do a full spin without without even pulling it halfway, what what can you how can you do a half spin? Can you even do it? Yes. It's just a little bit different. You can't rotate this in a half circle. No, it won't work like that. Now it works when you automatically just do that, but let me show you how to do it. You gotta flick this stick out and then rotate. All right, so let me do it in real time. All right, that's a half spin. Now, I don't know why it's not completing, but maybe they just don't want me to do it. 
Let's see. Half spin. Half spin. <laughs> All right. Let's try one more time. One last time before I get up out of here. Half spin. <laughs> All right. One more time. One more time. One more time. I promise. I promise. Last time. Last time. Last time. Half spin. <laughs> but uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, let me go in and do a couple things real quick. You know what I'm saying just uh huh just just look you can rotate the stick a hundred times look at this look at this G look at this look look now he ain't doing nothing that's what I like to see you can rotate the stick probably about two times after that the command is over he's not gonna keep going in a hundred different spins and all of that I do like that but you know me I'm always good with the moves that's what I like doing but uh this is IKC signing out hopefully this dribble tutorial helped you out now. In order to create space, you want to use crossover, step back, or um, what is it? The hesitation escape. All right. So if you're if you if you have a user guy on you, crossover and step back, or crossover hesitation escape. You can get an easy jump shot off every time if you do that. Now, if you want to drive to the lane, you're going to want to do an in and out or a stutter step. The in and out works because after you do the in and out, it's your decision if you want to go right or left. If you go right and you're in the ball is in your right hand, you're going to drive. If you want to go left, you're going to add a crossover to that in and out. Same thing with the stutter step. But uh, this is IKC signing out. My next video will be on post offense, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.